Hello and welcome, it's time for a brand new series of Football Manager on the channel. Roll the intro. Baby, I want you to know. And here we are in charge of the Exiles FC in Singapore. Now, this is a series I've had to sort of in my mind. I now live in Singapore, for those of you that are new to the channel or don't know my background. And I've always wondered about doing a save in Singapore and I did a test run of their normal database and it was a little bit boring it was a little bit meh so I thought why not put in the team that I play for in Singapore into football manager and that is exactly what we've gone and done so here they are Exiles FC are here. Coach Leffert is in the hot seat. I'm not too sure what's happened to my face. I'm very, very tanned. I'm not too sure why it's come out like that. But this first video will just be a little introduction. Um, show you around the club, what I've set it up with, how it's going. So I have to thank a few people. So the database was created by FM Acid Fire. You can find him on Twitter. His description or his link is below in the description. So go check him out. Um, I've also got to thank other people for the kits and the badges. Someone wants to rename Nameless uh, so they don't get inundated with requests. But the badges and the kits look absolutely superb. Sponsored by ProDirect because that is who... Um, supplies our kits in real life if I show you quickly hang on this is the real life Exiles kit I know the badge is different we're changing our badge in the coming seasons this is my shirt and my number there you go so as you can see this has been modeled on a real club so we play at the Jan Belasar Stadium which is not too far down the road from here but then everything in Singapore isn't is like not too far down the road um, the year founded is 2016 although they actually started playing in the prim in the league here, not the Premier League, in the league here in 2017, so they've only began for two years. This will be their second year. We have taken over from the uh, under-23 Singaporean national team who play in the Singaporean League, hence why we do have some history. But I'm seeing this as a narrative sort of save. What we'll do is we'll say, yeah, that's a popular word in the football manager community, the, the history is the history. This is a fresh club. We're starting from new in our 8,000 capacity Jalan Bazaar Stadium. It's a synthetic stadium. It's in a good condition and it's a pretty normal size. So what is the Exiles team? Well, the Exiles team, which I've just noticed is spelt incorrectly in the team name. It's too late to go and change it now, but we'll have to put up with that. It's spelt like that as it is in the badge, Exiles, not Exiles. Don't worry, Acid Fire's done a great job with the database. Other than that one little thing. But um, it's based on a club. The club that I play for is basically loads of different expats, um, which is an, basically a, a, a non sort of non-Singaporean, national really, um, all come together. So we have a makeup of like loads of different nationalities at the club. We have English, French, Dutch. Um, we do actually have a Singaporean. We have Korean. We have Chinese. We have Indian. Um, we have New Zealand. We have Australian. There's loads. American. There's You get the gist. So it's, an, it's Exiles FC, as in we've been exiled from our, our home country. And I've tried to build this into the game. Now, the problem with Singapore is they have strict rules on how many foreigners and how many non-Singaporeans can play in the division. So this is everybody who sort of... Some of them have a link. Some of them actually play for my club here. Um, some of them have a link. So I work with some people that I've added in to just give us a few more numbers. I've made up surnames, so not all of these people actually exist. These aren't all their real names. However, there I am, Dave Nichols, looking pretty awful. Um, you'll realise as well that the level of Singapore football is pretty shocking. So we are. I think we're ranked to be one of the lower teams in the competition. If we look at the Singaporean lead and go to season preview, oh no, we're pretty to finish fourth. So I've actually made us a little bit better, or Acid Fire and myself have made us a little bit better than uh, what I actually expected. However, it's going to be fun. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a fun little save. You can't get relegated. So if we finish bottom, if we get sacked, we'll just put ourselves back in the game and carry on as the exiles. But it's made up a lot of different nationalities. So here we go. It's French. But what we've had to do on the information is give everybody a Singaporean second nationality. So if we just go to general info, we've got a big mix of different nationalities in this club. And they've all got a Singaporean second nationality at the moment. Going forward, playing through the seasons, what will hopefully happen is that the club will get some 
youth come from the multiple different affiliates that are in the the link these are all permanent deals they're all just there's no money it's all just a mutual beneficial deal that's going to happen um okay there's players that can be sent on loan and things like that it's from some of them um but it's yeah it's just interesting the only one we don't have a long-term benefit with is arsenal they'll probably call it off at some point however in real life, Arsenal have a link to Singapore with a, an academy. Sporting have a link to Singapore with an academy. And I played on their academy football pitch last Sunday, which was very, very nice. Um, there are a couple of other clubs that do as well, but they're more for uh, like players setting up academies and stuff. So I've gone for just players I used to play with. My local club back in England, Folkestone, are here as well. They're an affiliate for us, a semi-professional affiliate. And then we've just picked random teams, some of which have good youth academy some of which just would like an academy out in singapore for the asia market but generally that's the hope that what we'll have is when we have youth income and uh, youth academy days and stuff like that players from these academies will get put into our system as well now i don't know if that's the case it has happened previously when i've been on man united and you get it it's come from affiliate and things like that but we'll have to see how it goes so looking at the club Obviously, we're based in Singapore. Um, the squad personality is fairly professional. Ticket prices is £3 a game. If you want to come all season, it's 24 quid. So not too bad at all. We've got okay finances and the chairman is enjoying life. Facilities-wise, um, we said 8,000-seater stadium. It was re rebuilt in 2003. The stadium condition is good. There's no undersoil heating, not needed in Singapore. And there isn't a roof. Probably is needed in Singapore. Um... <laughs> We've got basic corporate facilities, poor training facilities, uh, no data analysis facilities, and poor youth facilities. We have a basic junior coaching, but an established youth recruitment. As I said, we took over from the under-23 team that was in Singapore, so we're using this as a sort of situation where we can pull on the youngsters from Singapore and build a pretty good team here. The plan is to just try and dominate Singaporean football and win the Asian Champions League if we can. However, as I said, this is going to be a fun save. I want to get you guys involved. I want to get you guys picking like some of the team, deciding what sort of formations we can play um, and seeing where we go from there. So we do have a large, long list of players here. We have four sort of out-and-out -out strikers, a couple of wingers, attacking midfielders, more wingers, central midfielders, full-backs, centre-backs, more full-backs, more centre-backs, and three goalkeepers to choose from. Um... A good judge of like coming to a new club is to see who the star players are. And Alistair Tang Mong, is, or Tang Mun is actually how you pronounce that. Is uh, a small little Singaporean guy, five for eight, twenty-four, worth eighteen k. And yeah, he's looking. He looks okay. Probably be starting in central midfielder for us to see how he gets on. Guillaume Leguc is then the five foot nine, the twenty-five year old. And again, looks like he could be a handy wicker. Very versatile is Guillaume. Might refer to him as G in the game because that's what I call him on a Sunday. Uh, Daniel Podolski, Polish right midfielder. Again, looks okay. Nothing too bad. These are quite good players for Singaporean football. Uh, Jared Yangtao is a centre-back, 24. Looks pretty good. Now, the question is, do I start myself? Even though I'm pretty damn terrible, do I start myself in this game? A bit of experience in the team, I think, is what we need. The other thing we need to do is go out and find coaches. I have no idea what sort of coaching system we have at the club um if we go into training there it is um in fact we can look at staff we have two coaching staff we have ah yes raj kuma is our assistant manager um this is because he's not actually our assistant manager that's why it all looks a little bit confusing available on a free transfer um and we can assign him because what it is he's left over from the days of the under 23 teams when the under 23 national team was in the league and they were coached or they had a coach which basically coached them for the league games and this was this guy so he doesn't actually belong to us but we'll keep him in we'll keep we'll, we'll keep him there at the moment um we might even offer him a deal if we can so we've got a lot of coaches we can bring in we're going to bring in a couple of well probably one director of football one chief scout and a scout um and we'll bring in a couple more physios as well because as you can see we are pretty poor when it comes to backroom stuff so we're going to try and sort that out as well um, but other than that, there's not too much else to discuss. I just wanted to bring your attention to this new series that's happening as the Exiles. And uh, yeah, it should be it should be pretty fun. We're in pre-season, so I'll probably do quite a bit of that offline. Uh, as I said, videos for this are going to come out hopefully every Tuesday and Thursday. 
Um, and we'll just see how it's going to see what sort of pace we go through the seasons and and that is so the Singaporean season runs from January to December or roughly January to October November time uh, so we're currently on Christmas Day so we'll be going into pre-season and looking at the team and stuff like that so 2018 here we are uh, we got friendlies against Marine Parade Gone Back United Kembang United and Sentenk, Sentek Marinas um, and then we've got a lot of teams here. So, the Singaporean League is very odd. This team here, Nagata Unicorn, is actually from Japan, play in Singapore, and have won the league 2016, 2017, 2018, and it looks like they're going to win it this year because they're something like 20 points clear. Um, and, sorry, yeah, so this is 2018. They have won it this year. They're like 20 points clear of like 14 games to go. And mathematically, they've already won it or something. I don't know. It was very strange. But we want to beat their domination. Uh, DPMM don't actually exist anymore. So that's quite an interesting one. And there is another team who actually aren't in this save, who aren't in this database, that's called Brunei PPM or something. Uh, and they are from Brunei and play in the Singaporean League. So it's very, very weird, the Singaporean Football League. As you see, not that many teams, not that many fixtures. But we'll, we'll pad it out and see how it goes. So teams that have generally been pretty decent in the past. Home United, they don't exist anymore either, I don't think. Um, Ballistier, I'm pretty sure they don't exist anymore in real life. Uh, it'll be interesting to compare this database to the new database that comes out for Football Manager 19. But this save will see us through to Football Manager 19. I'm going to use it as a chance just to chat with you guys, uh, interact with you guys a bit more. I don't think I did that enough in the Journeyman save. I don't think I do it enough generally on the channel. So we're going to have a question of the day every day. We're going to have um, an understanding to try and get you guys to know me and me, go me to know you a bit better. And this is what's going to happen. So the first question of the day is, should I play myself? Because I'm in the team, we've got quite a lot of other defend central defenders that we could play. Um, but yeah, I am in the game. I'm there. Michael McRae is my actual centre-back partner in real life. And he's actually very, very good. But the game has made him pretty poor. Um, Dennis um, is a crazy Russian that plays centre-back with me occasionally. And he's pretty good. He's actually something like 39. So I got his date of birth a bit wrong. And Chris Bird is a friend of mine who I played football with in Bristol. And moved to Singapore six months before me. And he now plays for the same team as me. And he is 37. He'll probably be retiring quite soon uh, in this save. But he'll try and go on for as long as possible in real life. Uh, Dea Nandarina is um, good. He's wanted by somebody. Who's he wanted by? Warriors FC in Singapore. So we're going to try and hold on to him for as long as we can. He's had four caps for India, apparently. Is he in the Indian national team? Senior squad. He's the only player in the Indian national team. Okay, I've had a slight technical issue with my game. For some reason, it's coming up with a screen that you can't see that says, please enter requested value. So I'm going to try and sort this out, and hopefully I'll be back very soon. Okay, so we are back, and I don't know what happened there, but we're back, and we're here, um, and there's not much else to go through. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the database, if you want to see any more of the players in detail. We'll go through it a bit more. I'll play all the preseason, as I said, probably offline and we'll come back um, probably for the first league games against Huang United and Home United as well. Uh, playing home and then we're playing Home United away, ironically, which they will be at home. Um, you'll notice as well that our Exiles badge is working up there, but when we go to the league system, um, it's not. We get the default badge. I don't know why. For some reason, one of my graphics hasn't loaded correctly. But we will be undertaking this new save and I'm very excited about getting it going forward. So as I said, the first question of the day is, should I start myself? The answer will probably be no, but um, yeah, I don't mind. Let me know down below if you think I should start myself. Leave a like if you're excited by this new project. Um, subscribe if you're new. There'll be more Football Manager, more Pro Evo, uh, more Champ Manager 102 happening as well. The schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday is Pro Evo, Tuesday, Thursday is Football Manager, and Saturday, Sunday is Champ Manager 0102 and the Football Talk podcast. And I'll keep that up for as long as I can until work gets in the way or I have to go away for a week or something like that and then probably the schedule will all go to tits up. But we'll see what happens. But um, not really much else to go through at the moment. We've been going through it all. There's not really... The dynamics is horrendous. Match cohesion's awful. Refereeing atmosphere is okay but going down. And managerial support is pff, neither here nor there. I have the lowest... This will put you in perspective for you. I have the lowest coaching badges, ranking, any sort of thing like that 
I have the lowest in my manager profile, and it still says I have a good reputation when compared with the players. That's how bad the players are at this club. But it's going to be a fun little game. It's going to be a fun series. We're going to do our best to progress through um, the Singaporean League. We've got all of these lovely affiliates that we can try and dip into as well. But overall, it's going pretty well. A bit of money in the bank, which we'll probably lose come the end of the season. Uh, no debts, no loans, um, no income or expenditure at the moment, or little bits in there. Projection-wise, we're predicted to be nearly um, a hundred, or nearly one million pounds in debt in three seasons' time. So we'll have to see how that actually turns out. I'm sure that won't actually happen. It doesn't factor in a lot of things that are already going to be there. We don't have any reserves or any under-18s. I'm sure the squad will get whittled down at some point to see who will go in there and who won't. Um, technically, or value-wise, our worst player is Chris Bird. That's probably due to his age. And Cristiano, who is actually a player who plays on the wing in our team called Cristiano, and he looks like Cristiano Ronaldo as well. Um, we call him Chris for short because no one actually wants to care him call him Cristiano but he is probably he's pretty rubbish in this game um, Adam Parker who's actually the manager in real life is also looking pretty poor but I'm going to keep him around just for sentimental sakes and then we've got lots of people to go through and we'll see we'll judge people over pre-season and see how they get on but we're going to leave it there sorry for the technical issue that happened halfway through I'm not too sure what happened but thank you very much for watching please leave a like if you've enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and for now I'm out and I'll catch you soon for the first game of the season with Exiles FC Tara. Tara, I never say that.